shown in Java. Now, this is the chart. Yeah, Ms. Sarsija, you can read this. Uh, so, yeah, ascendant uh, in the fourth house with Mercury, then sun, fifth house, um, in the fifth house, sun, sixth house. It is Venus. No, 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 no. Um, read the bubble. Uh, please read this. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, sorry, Taya, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Uh, Astro Ninjas, uh, Jupiter is in seventh house. Hmm. As the, the most benefit planet, I'm sure uh, he would have a great partner. Okay, then you can read this also. Bubble, uh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Loose. Uh, well observed, Charlie. However, uh, this might need a deeper understanding. Yes, okay, now. Let's see the names. Yeah. So what about you, Mr. Sija? Who do you support? Mm. I'm not really sure, uh, Vinkat. So are you on both sides? Yeah. <laughs> sort of I'm not able to. Then you go by gut feeling. What do you think? Where, 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 is, where is your gut feel? Where would you put if you asked to, you are asked to bet? Uh, Lucy, I would go with Lucy. Lucy, okay. Miss Vasuda. Yes, I'll go with Lucy too, because Jupiter is in Capricorn. Okay, yeah, we'll discuss that. Then, uh, Miss Parvati. I will go with Charlie. Okay, Charlie. Zuma Subramaniam. Lucy. Lucy. Mr. Vishal. Lucy. Lucy. Okay. So everyone goes for Lucy except Parvati Anand. Okay. Now, before we get into the discussion, let's get into let's see the basics. Okay. Now, this is ascendant is cancer. 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 Can you say some characteristics of cancer, Lagna? Friendly to all, uh, friendly to all, enemy to none, nurturing, yes. competitive, good memory, talks mouthful. Correct. Who is the lord of this house? I mean, the sign? Moon. Moon. No? Moon. 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 Moon, correct. And what does moon represent? Mind, Mind. nourishment, mother. Mind. Mind. Correct. What sign is this? Cancer is which sign? I mean, it in is. terms of element. Water which? sign. Water. 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 Correct. Water. And, and female. Female. Movable, correct. Female. So what does that mean? Will this person be emotional type or yes. Yes. communication emotional. type? Yes. Emotional. emotional, correct. Emotional. So in general, all cancer ascendants will be emotional type. And you, on top of it, you see mercury is in water sign. What does that mean? Childlike innocence. Mercury is about the way you think, your thinking pattern. So when Mercury is in water sign, you generally your thinking will be based on emotions, not more, less on facts. Okay. Now, what does movable indicate? What do we mean by movable? The flexible. Flexible. But isn't that dual? initiator? Initiator. Hmm. They are not rigid. They are not rigid in their mindset. Okay, correct. Yeah. Now, let's see planets 
uh, which are in exaltation or debilitation can you tell which ones jupiter is debilitated in uh, capricorn venus okay. also debilitated jupiter jupiter and uh, venus both are debilitated sun okay. is exalted is sun exalted sun is not exalted okay sun exaltation is in which sign can someone say aries 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 correct yeah mm -hmm. then so there is no other thing debilitated or exalted right is mars exalted i'm just trying to name not exalted aries no mars exaltation is in capricorn okay. usually right okay sure but mars is in its own house or its own sign rather right. okay are there any other planets which are in their own sign uh sun sun is in its own sign yeah. correct yeah sun is its in own sign are there any planets which are in enemy house jupiter is in the enemy house Yes, yes, correct. Second, also moon, moon also no. Moon, moon is also in Aquarius. Anime, enemy house, right? Yeah. Then what about Venus? Is it in enemy house? Yeah, uh, it's debilitated in Virgo. No, is it in enemy house or friend house? In neutral. No, no, it is in neutral house. Mercury. Yeah, Mercury is neutral with it. Yeah, that is fine. Then, what about Mercury? Is it in enemy? That's again neutral because Mercury is neutral. What about Saturn? Again neutral. Correct, because it's a Mercury's house. Okay. Now, is there any planet in Digbala? Directional strength. mercury correct mercury is in first house is digbala then what about sun in second second house anything is digbala it's i think 1 4 7 10 houses right yes so is there any other thing having digbala directional strength Jupiter, seven thousand. Because directional strength is what? That's not correct. Jupiter, does anyone know? Jupiter's, Jupiter's dig bala or directional strength? Is it uh, first house? First house. Yeah, it should be in first. So here it's not. Then, moon in eighth. Is that dig bala? moon stick bala is what fourth yes fourth so what about mars mars is in 10th is that dig bala or directional strength for mars yes that's correct very good saturn in 12th that's not a dig bala for saturn which is dig bala 7th house yes very good now <clears throat> let's come to this Charlie says, as soon as Jupiter is in seventh house, Jupiter is most benefic planet, and I'm sure that means there is indicating that marriage will be really very good. It will be an awesome one. Now, let's hear from Miss Parvati Anand because she supported Charlie. Yeah. Since Jupiter in seventh house, it indicates a good spouse and long lasting marriage. Long lasting. So, that is the thing we have in shiva kadan right jupiter in seventh yeah. yeah okay so you are completely in support of this yeah i like guys so what about others uh, maybe i'll ask one by one mr sarasija so what or oh, you are actually confused right you just went yeah i feel because jupiter is in uh, saturn's house in me's house uh, maybe we uh, are uh, like um, so okay. jupiter is debilitated also debilitated okay so you feel jupiter effect will not be much will not much yeah very benefic okay uh miss vasudha what was your yeah that was my reasoning also that jupiter is in 
Capricorn. So I, yeah, I think I'm also confused now because <laughs> seventh house, like you know, it may be good for like the partner may be nice, but I don't know. There may be some concerns. I don't know what the concerns will be about because Capricorn. Uh, has some I, doubts. So yeah. basically, you you find both sides having good reasons. Yes, but I think Lucy's observation is more accurate because uh, because of the debilitation in Capricorn. So. Okay, now let me hear Suma Subramaniam. Yeah, because both Venus and Jupiter are debilitated, and both are uh, both planets are involved for marriage, and both debilitated. So I am supporting Lucy. Both planets means which both? Venus and Jupiter. Both are debilitated. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> then what about Mr. Vishal? Yeah, the same reasoning. Both are debilitated. Jupiter as well as Venus. Okay. Okay, that's the correct thing. Lucy's thing is correct. Despite being Jupiter, it is actually in debilitation. On top of it, one more thing is Jupiter is number one in the first house is Digbala, right? Directional strength. When it is in opposite the seventh, that's a fall. Similar to exalted debilitated, if the planet is in debilitated sign. Whatever it's, you know, uh, good things will not be there. So it's weakened basically. And this is also weakened, debilitated as well as Digbala is the fall as opposite. So despite being Jupiter on top of it, it's an enemy house. What basically happens is uh, this person will not have a discriminative capacity will be weakened. Jupiter is about ability to discriminate, you know, to for wisdom and all that. But that's like sort of weakened. So um, this person will not be able to um, take the spouse's words in the right spirit. It will not be able to understand clearly or immediately will not be able to. Uh, so it, there is chance of um, misunderstanding is likely. On top of it, this person is cancer lagna right so is an emotional person and emotional person already emotional so uh, we need to have a person who's understanding right spouse and on top of it if you are not able to interpret the spouse uh, properly then there are more chance of confusions so that's why uh, lucy's stand is uh, that is correct okay i hope that makes it clear Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So Jupiter, we should uh, uh, be clear that it's about discrimination, ability to discriminate accurately. And does Saturn and Ketu in the twelfth house have, have any role? Sorry. Does uh, Saturn and Ketu in the seventh in the twelfth house have any role for uh, like detachment or something like that? Yeah, but not really related to the marriage as such. Yeah. If the person is married, then it will chances of divorce are more. No, we don't we don't check that for marriage here. So the seventh is the main thing, and Venus and Jupiter. Yeah. So uh what it also underlines is that just because it's Jupiter, we cannot assume that things will all be great. But even Jupiter can fall. Okay, that's that's the oh. point here. Okay. So almost everything like that in astrology, it all depends on the its positions. You know the, these combinations. So we need to always have an open mind when we read these charts. One question, Venkat. Hmm. In Shiva content uh, for a lady's horoscope, do you see Mars hmm. or Jupiter for husband? Correct. What do you see for husband Mars or Jupiter in Shiva's country? Venus, Venus and Jupiter. Both for both men and women, you see both. Yeah, Mars we see for women, Mars and Jupiter. Oh. And we'll see Venus and Jupiter. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we'll proceed further.
Yeah. But we should keep in mind, I mean, we, just because if you also see something like this, we, we should not say that you know, just because, you know, Jupiter is debilitated, so marriage will not be good. We should not make any such statements as such in, as an uh, analyst of astrology because free will, 50% is also free will. We, people can make things work, uh, you know. So just because chart is great or chart is bad doesn't mean life is great or bad. It just... Um, you know, indicates that what uh, are the likely hurdles we might have, what are the potential we have. So it's a lot based on our actions that we take, you know, to realize what's uh, mentioned here. Okay. Now, we can go to sixth lord in various houses. I'll have to switch. Okay. Share screen. Yeah. So we are breaking. Uh, at, we have to be aware of these two assumptions. One assumption is that's because standard things like Jupiter is great, all towards mm -hmm. benefit, always benefit. Even that assumption doesn't, you cannot assume that depends on the position. Second thing is just because chart is saying something doesn't mean life will be like that. So that actions one takes also matters a lot. So two things we have to keep in mind. 